What's up gamers? Today we're headed off-road hauling with the Freightliner 114 SD. The 114 is a decent off-roading truck. Sporting the options for all-wheel drive and differential locking, it will tackle most terrain with ease. But there are a few areas where the bolts come loose for this level 20 locked machine. The licensed in-game model is based on the 2010 Freightliner 114 SD conventional chassis, which is still in production today. The modern 114 is described as a severe duty truck and is designed to pull loads over 35 tons without breaking a sweat. Enabling this pulling power is a Detroit Diesel DD13 engine, outputting 505 horsepower and 2500 Nm of torque. Altogether, this heavy-duty power plant almost puts this machine on par with the Western Star Twin Steer on paper. The 114's highly versatile chassis and outfitting options have seen it endure sustained use in many heavy and vocational industries, capable of being outfitted for anything from overhead line work and mining to twin steer and 8x8 conversions. This truck has cemented its spot in modern hauling and looks like it intends to stay. The mechanical upgrade selection for the Freightliner is good, however it is mainly owing to the fact that its stock offering is severely lacking in everything in purchase. That being said, adding the all-wheel drive, diff lock, suspension kit and larger tyres do wonders for this truck's capability in most terrain. However, deep mud is still an issue owing to the fact that there is no mud tyre options for this truck. Now my biggest gripe, especially after researching the truck, is the engine. In game we are given the 2100 engine as the best that can be fitted, while its stock real wheeled engine is almost on par with the stock twin steer. I just feel that this is another example of a truck that should be solid competition to Russian off-roaders being downplayed. On a positive note though, is the body add-ons. Not only is the truck seismic vibrator capable, but it's also one of the very short list of trucks that can support a bed and loading crane in tandem while towing a trailer, which makes this a very practical mission truck. The 114 model looks amazing. It matches perfectly in every detail from the left hand air vent on the hood to the driver's side exhaust being tucked behind the cab. Every small detail has been replicated here. Disappointingly, the same care hasn't been applied to the cosmetic selection. Being both short in supply and annoyingly level locked for many items we've unlocked already for trucks of the same class, uh, example some of the bumper upgrades were locked right up to level 22 and 25, which really seems overboard considering how likely it is to have been replaced by then. On the positive though, it does receive a real world catalogue touch with its unique Freightliner horns, which were a great little addition to see, and the custom stripe paint job colours were some of the most out there combinations I've seen in game, giving this thing a cool and different look compared to the usually muted tones that we get for other rigs. On to the handling. Now, this is a great example of why I test trucks in multiple regions before doing a garage tour on them. I hated the handling for this truck in Alaska. It felt unresponsive in mud, consistently got stuck even in low gear with all wheel drive and diff lock active, and even with snow tyres it consistently lost grip on icy roads. I was about to ride it off entirely. But then I took it to Tamiya, and the Freightliner was something completely different. The steering was responsive, the turning angles were great, and it was even able to ford the swamps with the heavy seismic vibrator. So I can't say the Freightliner has bad handling, but from my experience, just keep the off-roader in the mud and out of the snow. Overall, the Freightliner 114 SD is an average off-roader. Though it has some positives in manoeuvrability and a huge fuel tank capacity, it's lacking in power and versatility compared to other similar offerings, ultimately making this truck very easy to overlook. Now, it's not a bad truck, but it's unlocked far too late for its level of utility. So if you enjoyed this look at the middle of the road Freightliner 114 SD, or just want to see more SnowRunner content, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you all in Alaska soon.